Morning guys, this is Nick with EDC Mag, and I am going to do a quick overview of this little guy right here. Uh, it's getting ready to go out the door and I wanted to show it to you guys before it leaves. Uh, this is a knife by McFarland Knife and Tool, Brandon McFarland. He, uh, he's a knife maker here in the States. I can't remember exactly where he's out of specifically, but a uh, very cool guy amazing knife maker I actually have a couple of his knives uh, this particular knife is called the chop and pop and I picked this up about a year ago uh, I wanted to I found his knives uh, when I first got in two knives and uh, he was one of the first makers I kinda came across that I, I really liked and I liked his style and I liked his knives so when I was ready to pick one up uh, there's not a lot of them on the market you don't see them come up very often uh, but this one came up first and the money worked out and so I picked this up actually from his shop guy to uh, to just have a McFarlane and it's a super cool knife uh, this knife is made with uh, AEBL uh, I believe that is a razor blade steel Brandon uh, offered to sharpen it for me so that I could either shave with it or or just cut with it I'm not gonna shave with it uh, I never took him up on it but it was an offer he like I said he's a cool guy he's a cool maker um, it is a friction folder as you can see uh, it's chop and pop so you can you can chop your cigars cut the ends off your cigars which I've cut maybe one or two with it. Uh, I smoke cigar occasionally, and then it's a it's a beer popper, beverage popper, whatever your favorite beverage is. So it's a true multi-tool, uh, multi-functional. Um, you can take it out of your pocket. No one's going to know what it is. Pop a beverage in public. You're not going to scare anyone with it. It's not really intimidating. Um, like I said, it's uh, AEBL steel. It's about 3.3 inches long. Uh, the whole knife is like three three ounces, a little over. Uh, the scales on this one are G10. Now he makes some that are that have resin, really cool designed resin scales. Uh, I'm not really into all that bright, shiny uh, stuff. So I, I, but even if I was, it wouldn't matter because this is what I what was available and this is what I picked up. So, uh, but I, I do prefer this, especially for a cigar knife. It kind of matches the rest of my stuff. Uh, let's see. Let, just to give you an idea, like I said, this is a 3.3 inch blade. Uh, this is a Kershaw link. It's a 3.25 inch blade. Kind of gives you an idea of the size difference there. I always thought the link was three and a half inch blade blade HQ says I'm wrong imagine that so anyway gives you an idea of the size but I just wanted to get this thing on video let you guys take a look at it see one in hand in case you've ever considered one in case you've ever thought about a cigar knife or you've seen pictures of these and wondered kind of how they looked how they moved what the functionality was this thing functions perfect I mean obviously uh, the, this hole is an inch across, so depending on the size of the cigar you smoke, you know, obviously if, if it's not going to fit in there, it's still a knife. So I think you can get the job done either way. But uh, check out, I think Brandon sells stuff on Arizona Custom Knives now. They have a few things. Uh, I know he's had some personal uh, stuff that's been taking time away from the shop here lately. I think he just had a new kid. Congrats, Brandon, if you ever see this. Or Scott. Um, oh, Brandon and Scott didn't have a kid. Scott helps Brandon. They're partners. Not in that way. <laughs> anyway, I meant if Scott sees the video, tell Brandon I say congratulations. Uh, like I said, Brandon's a cool guy. He makes cool knives. I've got another knife uh, here that, that uh, I'm going to review at some point of Brandon's, which was actually the knife I was after originally whenever I found this one. Uh, but this is a cool knife. And uh, if you guys ever get a chance to pick one up, uh, if nothing else, go to his, his Facebook page. Check out his stuff. He's not real big on IG, Instagram, but he makes some really, really neat knives. So check him out and uh, 
hey thanks for watching my channel I'm just getting started hopefully things will improve as far as uh, how we go in the content and what we do so uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching